You found me. I was wondering how long it would take you. But I suppose when the world falls apart, it's easy enough to track the fracture point to its source, no? Who broke the ground and made it crack? Who stole the knife and carved her initials in the flesh of the fallen? Me. <laughs> but does it surprise you? We are so much more than this petty little crowd of vultures. They peck and they swoop and they tear chunks out of each other. They claw and scratch and scream and for what? It's not as if they don't know the answer. That's what makes this hilarious. The greatest puzzle has been solved. They make films about it, write stories and preach it in designated places. The most powerful weapon in their arsenal is love. It has the ability to build and destroy, to elevate and to decimate. But do they use it? No. They fear it. Showing affection to their fellow humans is a sign of weakness. To tell someone their love for the first time is to drop a grenade into their mental state and blow it apart. L bombs. That's what they call a declaration of devotion. It confounds me. The world has never been more accepting, yet it's utterly soaked with hate. People screaming at retail workers, finding beautiful things purely to ruin them. You cannot move for negativity. But this is a cesspool you wish to protect? Oh, look. It's a video of a puppy sleeping in a basket. Aww. No, a puppy would never do that of its own accord. The owner is drugging it. Abuse. Scandal. Wow, a kaleidoscope of butterflies are surrounding a tortoise to drink the salt from its tears. That gives the tortoise nice dry eyes and the butterflies are getting nutrients. What a lovely example of symbiosis. No, you don't understand. The butterflies are attacking the tortoise to make it cry. Ah, but there's no way this could be ruined. A beautiful rainbow has spread across the city. Look at its glorious colours. Doesn't that just warm your heart? It's visual propaganda to poison the minds of our children with the gay agenda. They stole the rainbow from God. Nothing is sacred anymore. And the list goes on. Don't you see? There's no saving them. They'll spiral into madness eventually anyway. I'm just making it quicker. I've chosen the fastest way to turn your precious humans inside out. Making everybody think they're right. Now, there are no losers. Everyone's an alpha, a boss, a superior being to the rest of their race. He's right, she's right, they're right. Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it delightful? Look over there. The barista's out of milk and the customer wants a milky coffee. He can't admit that he forgot to restock because he can't be wrong, so... It must be someone else's fault. Nobody around to blame. It's her fault. Who orders a milky coffee at this time? As for her, she's fuming. Her day has been hell. Everyone's beneath her. All she wanted was a simple coffee and... He can't even do that? It's her fault. No, it's his fault. Hers, his, hers, his. Oh dear. Looks like she got more coffee than she bargained for. Ooh, assault now, is it? Why don't you demand to speak to his manager? <gasps> oh, he is the manager? Devastating. What will you do now? Quite right, madam. What are they looking at? Couldn't be you making a scene. You haven't touched your drink. Is something wrong? You're worried about them? The human race is an infestation. Would you lose sleep over crushing an ant underfoot on your way home? Oh, but they matter to you, don't they? I suppose I can see the appeal. 
If one keeps a rat for long enough, then they might gain affection towards it. But these rats are fleeing the sinking ship, and... There's nowhere for them to go. Why don't we watch them drown together?